Hi everyone, welcome to another endgame study. This position is white to move. As always, you should pause your video, try to find the solution on your own, and then when you're done, I'll try to solve it too. Fun times. Um, so what is happening here, clearly, uh, I'm going to start solving, so if you're not done, keep paused, of course. But I'm, gonna, I'm trying to queen this e-pawn, and the question is, how do I do it? Um... Not so obvious. If e6, bishop c2, e7, bishop g6. That seems to stop it. There should just be some tricky move that I'm missing. Um, let's look at bishop b3 and bishop c4. If bishop b3, bishop takes, king takes, king b7 stops the pawn. If bishop c4, you can spring the king in, right? Stop the pawn that way. So e6, bishop c2. Um, e7, bishop g6. But this doesn't seem like it works either. Huh. What the heck do we do? Oh, man. e6... Bishop c2. I don't know. <laughs> uh, e7. I mean, I'll, I'll show you the moves. I'm just, just totally missing something, obviously. It seems very difficult to, to win this position. Bishop b1, you can just go king b7. After e6, king c7, e7, king d7. And we're not, we're not going to make a queen. That's the problem here, is like every, um, every move other than e6 allows this king to just come in. And it's hard to see how we can possibly win for, from that point. And, and the other problem is b6, you can also go bishop d1. Which I, I don't have a response to that as well, so I'm just struggling a little bit here. One moment. Bishop c4, king, oh wait, pawn takes, king a4, king b7, e6, king c6. Hmm, I'm just kind of like at a loss here. I don't know, I don't know what's happening exactly, but I'm just, I'm going to guess e6 is the first move. Maybe I'm, I feel like I'm missing something obvious because it should be simple. There's not that much going on, but I'm going to go e6. It says I'm wrong. What the hell? <laughs> what am I missing in this position? Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what the heck, what the heck am I missing here? I must be missing something. Well, I give up. What's a stupid answer? Let's see what Houdini says. I'm so confused. Oh, what? Man, somehow that's tough. It's just bishop to f7. It's tough because... Well, now the pawn, the king can come in, but we stop it, and and I guess the idea is we just take away his squares. But let's let's say this happens. I mean, that's still. What is it like this now? Well, then B four maybe. Let me let's look what the answer is supposed to be. I'm looking in the in the book. We should. Alright, so it says this move, king c5, oh, so if b4, we still do this, and if bishop here, bishop here to c6. I just miss bishop b7 as a possible move, honestly. The key is it defends the e8 square, so that 
after e7, this doesn't work because of e8 queen. I just, I just didn't see it. It's very sad. <laughs> um, very sorry, guys. I guess I'm wrong. Thanks for watching. And yeah, after this, there's no way to, to defend because of uh, the line we just saw. The king comes in. It's going to kick the bishop out of defending from the square. And if, if he tries to defend it, bishop e6. If he tries this, bishop d5. That's a cool puzzle somehow, just because I got it wrong. So it means there's something um, something trickier about it than meets the eye. Because it's, it's not really that complicated, but I just couldn't see the move. It's really weird. Alright, see you next time. Bye-bye.